Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's your boy, GB Reviews. Today, I'm going to do a reset of the Google Home Mini just so you can see how that works. Um, you know, I had to recently reset my whole network because I was having some issues. They were doing some work. Uh, Xfinity was doing work in my building and it's totally screwed up all my network settings. So I had to reset my network. So I'm gonna do a video on how to reset the Google Home Mini, just so you guys can see how to do it. Um, when my network settings got reset, I had to rename some things, and so it wouldn't connect to my network. So now I'm gonna reset it. So I'm gonna walk you through it, and it should work, hopefully. Um, we're gonna see, so let's get at it. All right, so what you the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pick up your Google Home Mini. You On the bottom, there is a reset button. If you hold this button down, it should, reset my Google Home Mini. Well, if I hold the button down, you'll see an amber light. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. Don't release the button, just hold the button. Oh, damn it. Yeah. You're about to completely there reset go. Google Home. To cancel, release the button. No, once it gets to four dots, it should. There we go. So that is letting me know that it has been reset and hopefully those lights will go out once those lights go out yeah and then here's a part that i'm not sure about because once the lights go out hopefully some lights will come back on and tell me that hey you did it right and yeah there we go and then it should say download the app i think and then i'm gonna put it back on the network so we'll see hopefully it works the funny thing is, when you set things up the first time, it works really well, but then when you're trying to reset things and put it back on, I should get some colored lights, I think. There should be some color lights that show up soon. But when you reset things and you put them back on the network, sometimes it gets kind of janky. So we'll see. I hope this works. Well, those aren't colored lights. Those are white lights. Hopefully some colored lights show up. And it says something. Oh, there we go. So it looks like I reset it properly. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Now, this is the part where I'm going to have to drop real quick just to see if it's on my app. And then I will get back to you. Here it asked me to connect my app. And so I connected it. At this point, you should have four blue lights once you connect in your app. I'm going to drop a screenshot in there. But once it's connected, then you should get four blue lights. Once you connect it in your app, oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you is that you need to delete the unlink it, the old one that was in your network before, and then it'll, then you want to add new device. And then it's going to ask you to link. It'll ask if you saw the blue colors. And then once you do that, then you're going to get to a point where um, you should be, it should, just come up with a random name and then you have to link it to your Wi-Fi and put in your password. So I'm linking it to my Wi-Fi right now. So I'm hoping it works. So now everything should be set up. Now all I have to do is say, hey Google, what's the weather today? Thursday in Arlington, it'll be sunny with a high of 84 and a low of 63. So that was pretty much it for the setup. So. We set up the, we reset the Google Home Mini and we reset it to the network, so now it should work. So now I should be able to get things like uh, my lamps to work. So I could say, hey Google, uh, turn master bedroom light blue. And I did it. Hey, mas hey Google, turn master bedroom light deep blue. Hey Google, turn master bedroom light dark blue. Hey Google, turn master bedroom light electric purple. And so, there you go. So I'm set up. So anyway, uh, hey Google, turn master bedroom light bright white. Hey Google, turn master bedroom light bright white. So. Um, that's it. Uh, pretty quick, easy. It's back on my network. It's back in my uh, Google Home uh, app on my phone and I can control my devices. So 
Um, that was kind of uh, just a quick and dirty on how to reset the Google Home Mini and then re-add it to your network. I'm dropping the photos in uh, just to show you the kind of the screens that you should get between there. I guess I could have recorded it, but anyway, this is your boy GB Reviews. Um, got one thing done. Uh, not a whole list of things that I have to get done. I think I'm going to also change from a, I currently have a Apple Extreme router, but um, it's pretty old and Apple has discontinued their routers. So I am going to probably go with the mesh network and I'm trying to figure out if I should go with the Google one. I think I will just because all my other stuff is Google. Um, but that's it. It's your boy GB Reviews. Please subscribe, like below, hit the notification button. And um, I hope to catch you out there on the internet. So it's your boy GB. Subscribe, but right, but no.